Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Good day to you and welcome to Beacons for Christ Ministry UK. We are so glad to be in the house of the Lord one more time. This November the 27, 2002, we are thankful and we are grateful. And we are so glad that you have chosen this place to worship to honor our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We thank you and we warmly welcome you into fellowship with us as we exalt the name of Jesus. We wanna take this time and this moment to give reverence and to give honor to our covering pastor, Dr. Maria A. Seaman and the SWIM Ministry of Bermuda, to our presiding pastor of Beacons for Christ Ministry UK, Pastor Randy Lightborn, and to our First Lady, Reverend Eunice Lightborn, who is actually in Bermuda at the moment. Amen. So we will to continue to cover her in prayer in Jesus' name. Welcome. Let us worship in spirit and in truth. Amen. We're going to go right into our opening song. Hallelujah. As the deer panteth for the water. Hallelujah. So our soul longest after him. Hallelujah. Let's just commune with the spirit and allow the fullness of the Holy Spirit to completely manifest itself. And at the closing of this song, R.I.T. Stacy will take us into the opening prayer. Hallelujah.
bless you, everyone. Bless you, Pastor. Bless all the beacons and everyone that will attend this virtual worship service and our message as it's brought forth. Let us just look to the Lord in prayer. Father, we welcome you in this place. We honor you. We worship your God. We ask that you have your way in this service today. Lord, we thank you for even the songs that we have sung thus far. Oh, Lord, we praise your name. Hallelujah is the highest praise that we can give you, oh God. So, Lord, I thank you in the name of Jesus. Father, we invite you, oh God, to have your way, oh God. We invite you, oh God, as our pastor has humbled himself before you, oh God. He has asked you what it is that your people need to hear at a time and season such as this. And so, Father, we thank you, oh God, for his humility. We thank you for the word of God that will come forth, oh God. We thank you for, Lord, just the application in our lives, oh God, that it, Father, will take root, oh God, and bear forth fruit in Father God, taking that root, oh God. Lord, we thank you for the prayers, oh God, that will go forth. We thank you for the songs that will be sung, oh God. We thank you, oh God, Lord, that you are in the midst of your people and that, Lord, you abide in the praises of your people. Father God, we give you glory. We pray, Father God, traveling mercies and protection over our Reverend Eunice and our RIT Laquita, oh God. We pray, Father God, that even as they are back at home and visiting, that, Lord, you would just bless them, oh God. Go before them, oh God. Lord, help them, oh God, to take the gospel, of oh God, and share it with people that they might encounter on the streets, oh God. Lord, we're just praying for boldness and strength. Lord, we thank you for the families, of oh God, that they are with, oh God. Lord, we pray that all will be done to your glory and your honor. Bless each beacon, Father God, that is in this Zoom room. And we pray, Lord, even for those that will listen at a future date, Lord, that the gospel will go forth, that souls will be won. We thank you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, RIT Stacy, uh, for that powerful prayer to open us up in service and we receive the fullness of that prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. We are excited, and while we have already taken out the time to honor and give reverence to our covering pastor, Reverend Dr. Maria A. Seaman, and our First Lady, Reverend Eunice Lightborn, we want to acknowledge them one more time in the name of Jesus. We are excited to be in Bermuda at this time, and I look forward to worshiping at Shekinah Worship throughout my stay here. Just pray for me. My throat is a mess right now, but pray for me. I'm pressing on in Jesus' name. Anyway, praise God. At this time, we're going to invite our sister Ashley at this time to do our scripture reading for today in Jesus' name. Sister Ashley. Amen. Good evening, everyone. This evening, the scripture reading will be taken from Ezekiel 16, verse 1 to 10. Here beginneth the reading of God's holy word. Again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, cause Jerusalem to know her abominations, and say, Thus saith the Lord God unto Jerusalem, Thy birth and thy nativity is of the land of Canaan. Thy father was an Amorite, and thy mother a Hittite. And as for thy nativity, in the day thou wast born, thy navel was not cut, neither wast thou washed in water to supple, thee thou wast not salted at all nor swaddled at all none i pitied thee to do any of these unto thee to have compassion upon thee but thou wast cast out in the open field to the loathing of thy person in the day that thou wast born and when i passed by thee and saw thee polluted in thine own blood i said unto thee when thou wast in thy blood live yea i said unto thee when thou wast in thy blood live i have caused thee to multiply as the bud of the field and thou hast increased and waxen great and thou art come to excellence ornaments thy breasts are fashioned and thine hair is grown whereas thou wast naked and bare 
Now when I passed by thee and looked upon thee, behold, thy time was the time of love, and I spread my skirt over thee and covered thy nakedness. Yea, I swear unto thee and entered into a covenant with thee, saith the Lord God, and thou becamest mine. Then washed I thee with water, yea, I thoroughly washed away thy blood from thee, and I anointed thee with oil. I clothed thee also with broidered work, and shod thee with badger's skin, and I girded thee about with fine linen, and I covered thee with silk. May God add a blessing to the reading of his holy word. Amen. Praise God for that powerful reading my goodness like i'm sure the rest of you look forward to what pastor has in store for us what has god poured into our pastor today and we look forward to that with great anticipation in the name of jesus and we are going to move right into our praise and worship service and our praise and worship service is going to start with praise him praise him praise him let us lift up and exalt the name of Jesus. 